Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Great day today. We wanted to tell you about the new lineup from Bear Archery for 2022. And this video is going to be three bows in one because what Bear has done here is they have hit three different price points. We've got three bows. We've got the flagship bow, which is the Refine Echo. We've got a mid price point bow, which is the Bear Resurgence. And then we've got a budget friendly bow, which is the Bear Species. So three different price points there, whatever you want to pay when you go into your bow shop, you've got three options from Bear Archery. They're all excellent bows, got some unique technologies that we're gonna tell you about. Let's check out those specs before we dive into what's different and unique about each of these bows. The Bear Refine Echo measures 33 inches axle to axle. It's got a brace height of six and three eighths inches. IBO speed rating, 342 feet per second. It's got a weight of 4.4 pounds. The let off is adjustable from 75, 80, 85, or 90%. Draw length, you're gonna have an adjustable mod that goes from 26 and a half to 30 and a half inches. And you're gonna have two draw weights available either 45 to 60 pounds or 55 to 70 pounds. The Bear Resurgence measures 32 inches axle to axle. It's got a brace height of six and one quarter inches, IBO speed rating of 335 feet per second. It's got an overall weight of 3.9 pounds, let off 80%. Draw length, you're gonna have an adjustable mod to move from 25 and a half to 31 inches. And for draw weights, you're gonna have two options of either 45 to 60 pounds or 55 to 70 pounds. The Bear Species measures 30 inches axle to axle. It's got a six and three quarter inch brace height, IBO speed rating of 320 feet per second. It's got an overall weight of 3.8 pounds. The let off is 80%. For draw length, you're gonna have an adjustable mod that moves from 23 and a half to 30 and a half inches. And for draw weight, you're gonna have two options, 45 to 60 pounds or 55 to 70 pounds. All right, so first up, we have the Bear Species. So this is gonna be the budget-friendly bow. You can click the link in the description to get uh, the current pricing for this bow, but this is a budget-friendly bow. And what's cool about it, I think, is that it comes fully set up. You get all these accessories here, plus a quiver that you don't see, but you're gonna get a four-pin Trophy Ridge sight. Obviously, Bear is and Trophy Ridge are part of the same company, so these all have Trophy Ridge accessories on there. You're gonna get the four pin Trophy Ridge sight. You're gonna get the Whisker Biscuit V uh, rest. You're gonna get a Trophy Ridge stabilizer. You're gonna get the peep sight with the tubing here. That makes sure that the peep always comes around perfectly aligned. It's gonna have a D loop on it pre-installed. And as I mentioned, you're also gonna get the quiver. So basically when you get this bow, all you need are arrows and a release and you're ready to go. So that is definitely handy uh, if you wanna go out and you don't wanna spend a ton on a bow set up for bow hunting. But this would be a bow that's gonna be ideal for bow hunting, also 3D archery. As you can see here, it is a single cam design. So what that means is that this bow especially is gonna have a really smooth draw cycle with that single cam up there. It's just really smooth to draw. This is gonna be a great bow. You know, it's 30 inches axle to axle, but this is a bow that's gonna fit just about any archer. As we mentioned, the draw length is adjustable. It goes from 23 and a half up to 30 and a half inches. So that's a huge range of size of people and also ages. This is gonna be great for kids. This is gonna be great for full grown adults. In shooting this, uh, what I noticed about it was it did, as I said, that draw cycle, really nice. It draws nice, aims nice, holds nice, and just a nice shooting experience. They've got lots of dampening all over this bow. You've got it in the string stop here. You've got it on the limbs here. So just a lot to kill all that vibration. Of course, this stabilizer by Trophy Ridge, this is all rubber, so this is gonna be a great vibration dampener as well. Um, but yeah, great bow, especially with all the accessories that you get at that budget-friendly price. It's hard to go wrong with the Bear Species. 
All right, so moving along, we come up next to the Bear Resurgence. This, as we mentioned, is the mid price point bow. It's not quite flagship, it's not quite budget. In the middle there, it's gonna be a, just a little bit higher quality bow. You can see that nice riser. It's got that full camo all over it. This is, Bear did something unique with this one. They've revamped their mid price point bow to make it performing a little better. We've got their first binary cam with 80% let off. Binary cam, what that means is that the cams are slaved to each other by the connections of the cables. They are connected onto each cam and so that they work in synchronization with each other. When you time these cams, put them in a bow press and make sure they rotate exactly the same, the performance of it is gonna be on par. These cams are gonna rotate perfectly the same every time. That's what you want for performance out of a compound bow. And that 80% let off that it has there. I mean, that's great for bow hunters. You gotta come back and hold it full draw, 80% let off, that is perfect for that. So this bow as well comes with all these accessories. So that mid price point, you get all these accessories. Once again, four pin Trophy Ridge sight, Whisker Biscuit V arrow rest, You've got your Trophy Ridge stabilizer, peep sight, D-loop, and not shown, but comes with it is an arrow quiver as well. All you need is the, some arrows and your release, and you are set to go. So this bow here, what you really notice with this is the performance. You can definitely tell that this one is a higher performing bow. Arrow speeds are noticeably faster. The draw cycle just feels super comfortable. It's got a little bit of aggression to get over the hump there, but it's not something that's difficult to get past. And then once you get into that valley, it sits there and holds really nice. We've got lots of um, vibration reduction. You can see it on the strings. We've got it on the string stop in the limbs here. So they've done a lot to reduce the vibration on this bow. And it is a high quality aluminum the riser is made out of. I like this grip. Nice and thin there. This is a popular uh, style grip that you're gonna see on a lot of high performance bows. Got a nice flat spot there for your hand position. I'm always worried about my hand position on bows and when I have one that puts it in the right spot, I like that. Uh, but just a great bow. Um, what Bear wanted to do with this was to provide something that wasn't quite at that flagship price, but was still high performing. And they've done it with the resurgence here, as I said. When you shoot it, you can really tell that this thing is spitting those arrows out there. Getting it tuned took practically no time at all. It just shot excellent for me. So that is the Bear Resurgence. All right, lastly, we come to the Bear Refine Echo. This is Bear's flagship hunting bow for 2022. This is the performer. This is the one that has all the bells and whistles in the design. The Echo Cam Bear has had out. This isn't the first bow to have it. Uh, and it's a unique cam. It's great in that it has let off adjustments, 75, 80, 85, 90% that and its um, draw length adjustment, you can change both of those without the need for a bow press. It's pretty unique how they do that, but it has to do with the draw stop and moving the mod that you can adjust between those let offs for every draw length that this bow provides. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, some archers like to have as much let off as possible, 90%, that's the highest that's offered out there in compound bows. You get in that hunting setup where you have to, you come to full draw and you have to hold, this one will sit there all day for you. So why would you want 75 or 80%? Well, if you have a shot that requires a little more aggression in the cam, you need a little more pull from the cam and the string as you're pulling backwards, you kind of need that extra resistance you would want to lower that. And a situation where you might want to do that is in high winds. If you're shooting out, if you're out west and you have 90% let off, you come to full draw, it's very easy for you to move all over the place. But with that lower let off, you're putting more resistance into it. You can fight that wind a little bit better. So that's why you would want to do that. And to be able to do that on one bow, just by moving some parts, 
That's awesome. Uh, so this is a whole new riser that Bear came out with here. You can see that riser design. It is an aluminum riser. You've got some bridging up above and down below. That's going to promote rigidity in this bow. They have put vibration dampeners all over it and in some cool places you're going to see lots of vibration dampening material these wheels here these posts uh, they've got them in the limbs new string stop from bear they have out this year it's got extra uh, vibration dampening as well they've of course got their unique uh, bear cable roller system as you draw this bow back this arm pivots this way and of course it's got the wheels your as your cables run through these rollers here just makes for a super smooth draw cycle in this bow uh, it really is nice something else bear did with the refine this year is they have their align lock technology so there is a level built into the riser right there what would you use that for well when you go to level your sight you want to uh, make sure that your second and third axis on your site are level. The first thing, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to clamp a level to the riser. And then you want to level things. You want to know that when that bow is perfectly standing up straight, then you make your sight adjustments once you know that bow is perfectly vertical. Well, with this level built right into the riser, you don't have to use any other parts. You can just put this into a vise, get that level, get that bubble in the middle. Now you know your bow is standing perfectly vertical. You can make your sight adjustments. So that's just a handy feature that Bear built in there. Uh, the grip, it's a different kind of grip. Uh, it's nice and thin at the top and then flares out a little bit at the bottom. And I found that I that to be very comfortable because this is where my palm was sitting anyway so the thin part is up at the top in the webbing of my hand and where I'm putting all my pushing from my hand is sitting on this wider spot here it's only a little bit wider it's not I wouldn't classify this as a fat grip uh, but it's just in a good spot it seems to be in exactly where I would want to have material on my hand for drawing on the front here bear has put a nice channel into the front of the grip so that when you are making sure that your hand is in the right place you can just reach down with your index finger you can feel that channel now you know exactly where it is if it were just flat and uniform you could be a little bit left and right but with this you get your finger tucked into that channel now you know exactly where it is of course you've got uh, bushings on this bow to put a front mount stabilizer and a rear if you want to run a side rod you can get this bow balanced exactly the way you want it just a great this is a bow that has everything that you want in a flagship bow in the um, shot cycle what I'll tell you is first off it took me virtually no time to get this thing tuned shot a perfect bullet hole just doing some rest and um, knock point adjustments comes back I have this set right now at that full 90% let off man when that thing when the cam rolls over I could just stand there all day and it's a nice deep valley so sometimes you get bows that have that high let off but if you move a little bit it the cam wants to roll forward this is not like that it's got plenty of room back there so if you collapse a little bit it's not going to jerk forward it still stays in that full draw you can just reset yourself and get to the back wall the back wall is super solid you have your cable stop here when the cam rolls around contacts that cable it's a nice solid back wall something else that i look for in a bow uh, it might seem simple but accuracy um, i found that some bows i just can't shoot as accurately as another I can't necessarily put my finger on what it might be uh, but this one is accurate when I come up take aim shoot my arrows go where they're where I want them to and if they don't I know what happened um, so this is one of those bows I like that it problems come in when an arrow goes somewhere and I don't know why it went off target with this one they go where I want them or at least where my aiming point is sometimes my aiming points not always on so just a great 
shooting experience from the Bear Refine Echo Bear obviously put a lot of thought into what they were going to do with this bow, and it does perform at that flagship level. That's the Bear Refine Echo. All right, so that is the 2022 lineup from Bear Archery. Again, we have the Refine, the Species, and the Resurgence. You're going to have a flagship, a midpoint, and a budget-friendly bow. Three different pricing options from Bear. If you like Bear Archery, there is a choice for you in 2022. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.